Hello, in this video I will show you how to create pie charts that you can uh, include on a dashboard in Google Sheets and also how to add slicers to those pie charts or uh, tools to filter the data in an interactive way. In this file I have a list of students who are enrolled in a graduate program. This is uh, fictitious data, so none of this uh, information is real. I have information on whether or not these students have defended their proposals and also information on whether students uh, defended their uh, thesis. So I want to summarize this information on a dashboard to be able to monitor student progress. So. Um, as you look at the dashboard, I already have some information here. I have a pivot table. I have a scorecard chart with student GPA. I want to look at their status uh, based on whether or not they defended their proposals and their thesis. So uh, to do that, I'm going to select this column here, column L, where um, it's indicated uh, whether students have defended their proposal. You can see yes uh, if they did and no if they did not you know, in the more recent uh, cohorts. So I am going to select this column. I am selecting the entire column just because um, as I add more data into the file, I want my charts to be updated automatically. So after selecting the column, I'm going to insert and then chart. And um, automatically, Google Sheets is going to create a pie chart because um, a pie chart is the most appropriate type of chart for this data where uh, the proportions uh, add up to 100%. Now, I don't want this chart to be here. I want to move it to my dashboard. So I am going to go to cut and then um, I'm going to paste it. On my dashboard, I'm going to resize it, resize it in the size that um, uh, I want to use, and I'm just going to put it next to my other charts. Um, now, notice that um, uh, I want may, may need to change the title. So uh, uh, let's maybe say "Count of Defended Proposals" um, here. And uh, again, this is uh, including information or summarizing information based on all of the students in the data, right? But all those students, um, some of them have already graduated, so of course they've already defended their proposal. So I may want to add a filter or a slicer to be able to look at data from more rec recent years. So to do that, I'm going to select the chart and then go to data and then um, add a slicer. Notice that my slicer was created here. I am just going to move it here just to make it clear that it refers to the charts. So, sorry, I think I moved it by mistake. Um, first thing that I need to do when um, using a slicer or creating a slicer, I have to specify the variable that I want to use for filtering the data or for selecting the subsets of data. And uh, as I mentioned here, I want to use a uh, year of enrollment here. So from I get a list of all of the variables in my data set and I get to select the one that I want to use, which is enrollment year. Um, so now if I click on the drop down menu here, I can, for instance, uh, uncheck uh, data from um, older years and then uh, just look at data from more recent years. Uh, but notice that when I do that, when I filter the data in one of these slicers, um, even though my slicer is not applied to the pivot tables on my dashboard, see this button is unchecked, um, it does apply to the other charts on the dashboard. You notice that when I um, excluded an academic year, um, the average GPA also changed. So um, as you can see, uh, this has an impact on all of the other charts, right? 
So um, this is just something that is important to know and to keep in mind. For now, I'm just going to um, check all of these options and uh, vice versa, this uh, slicer that I originally created for the score chart card um, also applies to the other charts that uh, I am now creating. So this one referred to student status. So for instance, if I want to uncheck students who graduated, my new chart is also going to change. So. Now I'm just going to change this back. Um, I also have a um, pivot table here. And for this pivot table, I have a slicer as well. So if I click on this um, slicer, you can see that it applies to pivot tables, but it does not apply to the charts. So uh, here data are filtered by um, academic advisor. So if I click on this drop down menu, uh, I can see a list of names, which are the names of the academic advisors. And um, if I say uncheck some of these names, all right, you can see that the data in the table are changing, but my charts uh, remain the same. So this filter does not apply to the chart. So it's important to keep in mind and know uh, which slicers apply to the pivot tables and which slicers apply to the charts and which slicers apply to both the charts and the pivot tables. So uh, for now, I'm going to check all of these names again. And um, I am going to create another pie chart um, let's say that I want to create another pie chart that is very similar to the one I just created, but instead of the proportion of defended proposals, I want to look at the proportion of defended thesis or how many students uh, actually defended the final thesis. So I am going to just copy this chart that I already created just to save some time. And then I'm going to paste it here. And um, I am just going to make the changes that I need. First, I am going to change the title. And instead of proposals, I am going to write thesis just to avoid any confusion. And then I'm going to edit this chart. So click on the dots in the corner and um, edit the chart. And instead of uh, column L1, I am going to use the column where I have the information on whether or not students defended their thesis, which is column O, right? So going back to my dashboard, I'm going to go to edit chart, and in the data range, I am going to change the letter L with the letter O. Okay, notice that my graph has been updated. Now, of course, uh, because I'm looking at data from all years, um, there's going to be a larger proportion of students who defended their thesis. Um, but if I want to look at more recent years, I can just exclude, let's say, the um, all this year and this look at the past four years and notice that um, I have a lot fewer students who defended their thesis in the past four years. Um, I want to add a slicer to this uh, chart as well and of course all the other charts so I'm going to select this chart and then uh, click on data and then add a slicer and uh, this time, moving it here, uh, just to make it clear that these slicers in this area apply to the charts. So um, for this slicer, the third one, I am selecting another variable. And this time I'm going to select advisor because uh, my advisor slicer that I have here only applies to the pivot table. So I'm going to add an advisor slicer uh, for the chart. So I can put it here. And then if I click on the drop down menu, you will notice that if I uncheck 
some of these buttons let's say a names um, so if, if let's say I want to look only at the advisors um, in a certain program so I'm going to click OK and notice that my charts have changed but this icon here the filter lets me know that um, data for the chart is currently be being filtered by advisor but not the data in the pivot table. So this is how you can uh, in create and include um, pie charts um, in a dashboard in Google Sheets. And this is how you can use slicers to filter data for charts.